ever wonder how to make your PDF worksheets and downloads fillable so your prospective buyers can edit on their computers or tablets? If so, this is a perfect video for you because I'm going to show you how easy it is to create these fillable PDFs using a free tool. Now, I recommend doing this to your digital products because it's a great way to stand out from the competition and provide your customer a file that can be printed or used as a digital file. So therefore, making your products unique and a no-brainer to buy from you. So make sure to watch until the end because I'm gonna walk you through the entire process. Hi, and welcome back. If you're new to the channel and you wanna learn how to turn your passions into profits, make sure to subscribe today. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you are the first one notified of any new videos. So let's go ahead and get started. Here we are on Canva. Once you create your planner, maybe you're working on a worksheet, whatever you're working on, you want to make sure that when you save it, you save it as a PDF print. Not only because you want to provide a high quality file for your customer, but you also want to make sure that you save it as a PDF because the site that we're using is called PDF Escape and the file needs to be a PDF in order for you to be able to add those fillable forms. So. Here we have the file. You could upload it from your computer or you could drag and drop. So I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop. And here is my actual planner that I'm working on as an example. I'm going to go ahead and fit to page. So here we go. And what I want to do is I want to add form fields right here for people to be able to not only print this out and write on it, but also use it in their tablet or maybe on their computer if they want to type in with their computer. So all you got to do is click on form field right here. And this gives you the option to add a field from text, text paragraph, checkbox, um, radio, drop down, depending on what your planner looks like. So I'm going to use text paragraph for this particular sections here. So I'm just going to start from the corner and drag the box and I'm going to let it go as soon as I feel like it's in the right spot. Obviously, you take your time with it, so make sure that it's centered correctly. And you will do the same for every section. You could do it this way as well if you needed to. And I'm going to drag it down and try to center as much as I can. Then you will do the same here. That one's a little off, so I'm going to push it down a little bit. And then the same here. And this is how simple. This is going to be a really quick tutorial because it's very easy to do this. And I'm gonna show you all the way to the end how to save it and extract the file that you could provide to your customer. So you would do this, and then you will add the last one down here. Obviously, you could play around with it to make it fit accurately. And if I was to type in here now, now I'm able to go ahead and add text to it, which is what we're trying to do. Now keep in mind that you wanna play around with the font and the font size because you don't want a huge font size if it's a small line so always play around with it first to make sure that it fits or the font and the size fits in the box or maybe here on the lines now once you're happy with this you can also create obviously a form field for up here week of so i'm going to do also a paragraph and i'm just going to go like this and i'll make this one a little thinner Maybe like right there. Maybe make it a little smaller to fit the line. I think right there looks good. And then here, I'm going to add form fields as well. But the difference is that instead of a text paragraph, I'm going to do just regular text. So I'm going to go ahead and select. And I'm going to make this one a little bit smaller because it's right underneath goals. And then I'm going to make these a little bigger so they can fill it up a little bit more. And this is how technically you would do it. And obviously play around with it to make sure that, you know, it fits properly, is aligned correctly. I know I'm doing this a little quicker just for the tutorial, but just keep that in mind. And then I'll make this a little bit smaller here and then stretch it out. So then you will do the same for each one. Let me go ahead and delete this one and that one. And as you can see, I could type in here. If I wanted to make the text be right on top of the line, what I could do is just push it down. And you could do that as well if you want to. Or you could just leave it like that and it'll give the person more room 
to write more. So it's really up to you. So you can leave it bigger or you can make it smaller. It's really up to you. But I like the font size on that as well. And let's say I did all of this already like that. All I need to do once you're happy and you are finished, you're going to go ahead and save the file first. That's what I normally do. And then I'm just going to go ahead and download the file. So this is going to be the new file that you will give your prospective buyer, which has the fillable forms already. So this is what they will get. And they have the option to go ahead and print out and write on it, or they have the option to use this in their computer or tablet to fill in whatever they want to fill in. So this is how easy it is to create a PDF with fillable forms. If you enjoy this video and found value, make sure that you like this video. Leave me a comment below if you have any questions and thanks for watching.